All right, so hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial, where in this video I'll be showing you how to create this circular progress bar. And it's very easy to implement. It runs on a dependency, which I will include in the description. And it's, uh, the reason I wanted to include it is because it animates itself and a lot of the things you would do manually, it's just implemented in this dependency and it's amazing. So the first thing you wanna do is copy the dependency and go put it in your Gradle file right under dependencies. And we're gonna click on sync now and wait for it to sync. But you can just go straight to your XML file because here's where we are going to edit it. And if you just type in circular progress bar, it will pop up under Michael Lopez, circular progress, sorry, circular, circular progress bar. And we just want to edit the width and height to 200 dp to make it a bit smaller. And then we're gonna give it an ID of progress circular just to keep it simple. And then we are going to want to go to our main activity file where we can actually define our progress circular bar and make it active. So we're gonna do progress underscore circular dot apply, which saves us a lot of time Otherwise you'd have to write like progress underscore circular dot progress max and then progress underscore circular dot progress uh, animation. You have to keep on writing that over and over, but just adding the apply makes it a lot faster and you can just add all of the uh, different parameters. I definitely recommend you test it out. As you can see there, I put set progress with animation, progress uh, bar width and then progress background progress bar width, and all of this is just to customize it, make it look nice. If you go on the dependency uh, JIT file, a GitHub file, you'll actually see there's a lot of parameters that you can manipulate, and you can make this look really, really good. That's all there is to it. It's much easier than making that horizontal progress bar with an animation. And as you can see here, there's just a ton of things you can do with it, like round border, and it tells you how to use it in Kotlin. Uh, Kotlin, uh, in Kotlin as well as in Java. So it's very, very versatile. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. If you'd like me to make any other tutorials, please leave it in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to. And uh, see you in the next video.